Hey church, welcome back to our week of devotions as we're continuing the fiercely determined um, part of our This Audacious Life series. See, Jesus lived the ultimate audacious life. We already spoke about that and today we're really going to understand why. But let's set some precedents with our key scripture for the week and that is again Luke 5, 51. As the time approached for him to be taken up to heaven, Jesus resolutely set out for Jerusalem. That word resolutely speaks volumes of what this this culture point is or being fiercely determined it is no matter what it is we're going to get to our objective and see being fiercely determined starts over the why why are you doing what you're doing why are you so determined to knock down that door or kick down that wall or do whatever it is that is jesus had a why and his why was vision see vision really is the why behind our what the bible tells us that you know those without vision um cast off restraint where there's no vision, the people cast off restraint. And really, it's because the vision is our why. Vision paints a picture of a preferred future. It precedes the passion. It articulates the possibilities. Vision directs us. It is the parameters of which we operate. But also, vision has no boundaries. Vision has no borders. It is a mission set on achieving what right now cannot be seen. See, lack of vision or a lack of why is dangerous because it, it's what led the Israelites to continue to walk around the desert for 40 years. But but having a why is the difference between Paul enduring prison, you know, allowing himself to be flogged, taking on the trials of um, being shipwrecked and, and all to advance the gospel. That was his why, that was his vision. Jesus too on his time on earth had a why. In fact, him being sent was the why. Uh, for all of us as Christians, and we are so grateful for that. See, Jesus came from being a baby in Bethlehem to a man on a cross, from being confined to a tomb to being being the risen saviour. The Bible says that he resolutely set out for Jerusalem, knowing full well what Jerusalem meant because he was fully God and fully man. He knew that that was the place that he was going to die. He knew that was the place he was going to be betrayed. But why he did it? Why did he continue to go? Because he had a why because he was determined, because he was fiercely determined, because he was so determined he could endure the cross. He had his why, he had his first place, his North Star orientated right to the will of God. And we see this in Luke 22. Let's read a few of those verses. Verse 41 to 44, 44, it says, he, he being Jesus, withdrew about a stone's throw away beyond them and knelt down to pray. Father, if you're willing to take this cup from me, Please do. This is his prayer. But listen to these words. He says, yet not my will, but yours. That was the why. Jesus understood that his why was the will of God. If we carry on reading in in those verses, it says, an angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him. And being in anguish, he prayed more earnestly and he sweat drops like blood that fell to the ground. This, This is Jesus, you know, on the Mount of Olives, hours before his death, hours before one of his own disciples would betray him. At the same time, all of his other disciples are struggling to stay awake. This is such a tense and anguish-inducing environment. The Bible even says that, but right now we see that Jesus still says, you know what, not my will, but your will. He understood his why. He understood why he came to earth so that you and I might not fall victim to this to the wages of sin, which the Bible says are death, but really will be set free by the free gift that he brings. Jesus understood his why. That's why he was able to endure the cross. It is with our why that we're able to remind ourselves in the first place, why? When you're going through something, it's, oh, I'd rather not, but it's why. There's a price you need to pay here, but there's a why. My emotions are, you know, all up in the air. It's been a long day. It's hard work. It's going to take so much time. I'm never going to be able to do it, but there's a why. Jesus reminded himself of what his why was, and it was following the will of God. So next time you're in this place, I want you to, you know, write it down. Remind yourself, why did you start in the first place? What is the word of God over the situation? Because he spoke clearly. And remind yourself that on the other side of the hard work, on the other side of this, is the accomplishment, is the breakthrough, is the victory. I'm believing that you and I, if we commit ourselves to learning the truth of what Jesus says, we will be fiercely devoted and will align ourselves with heaven. God bless you, church. Have an amazing week and I'll see you tomorrow.